But Daisy, over here. Right here, right side. On third and ten, McCarron in some trouble. Down he goes. A sack right at the ankles as Chris Odom with his fourth sack of the season. On the right side, and you're going to get a little bit of a stunt coming over from the right side of that defensive line, and that stunt is able to get home. They can't squeeze down far enough to that home position there, right on the dot behind the quarterback. And on second down, Thompson is buried. Willie Harvey. Before Thompson could look upfield, all he saw was a blue and white 51. Done in professional football. Karen from a clean pocket and on the run finds Hakeem Butler all the way down to the Houston 31. Well, they're doing a great job here of attacking the whole. You got coast to coast. Set. Right in. Right side. On third down. McCarron looking deep, looking for the end zone. It's underthrown and it's intercepted by Markel Roby. Roby returning it out of the end zone and down shy of the 20-yard line. The ball popping out as he hit the ground. They're ruling him down at the 18-yard line where it'll be Houston ball after the pick. So the defense is back there with the intended wide receiver. Safety Markel Roby just rolls over and easily picks that one off. They want a fumble, but it... Third one, Mark Thompson bouncing it to the outside. He's got a first down and more. Tiptoes out of bounds across the 45-yard line. Good run by Thompson to move the chains. You know, Ed, for a... Third and 10. Sinnott in trouble. Trying to spin away. Throws as he's being twisted to the turf, and it's out of bounds. In Indianapolis, we'll see if they run that. Right eight, eight, eight. Right side. On third and nine, Karen will step up. Catch made by Pearson. First down, St. Louis. Jacor Pearson with that speed to the near sideline. Yeah. Right eight, eight, eight. Right side. And on fourth down, McCarron with time. Over the middle, and it is caught. The tackle made immediately as Stephen Mitchell lunged out to get that first down. Third down and six. Reuben Foster helped off the field for the rough next. McCarron in some trouble, dancing around, buying time, finds his open man. It's Mitchell again. Back-to-back -back third down conversions for the former USC Trojan. And you got to get... Heavy, heavy, JJ, 180, right side. McCarron floats it down the sideline. Jump ball! And Hakeem Butler with his fourth touchdown grab of the year. He's just too tall. This read by McCarron. Richardson tries to stay on top. And so what does he do? Just go right to the back shoulder, and he drives that ball outside onto the back shoulder. That's not floated to the back of the end zone. Akeem Butler just has to drop out. Set. Right right side. McCarron. Buying time, chased by Logan. All the way back at the 25-yard line, and he'll just throw this wobbler into the air incomplete in the two-point four. Sinnott, pressure up the middle, the ball stripped out of his hand. Sinnott going to have to try to run for it, and he'll be stopped well short. How about this run? And then at that point, Sinnott had drops the ball, bounces right to him, and now he's just trying to get positive yards, and that's when everybody... Here we go. Sinnott on first down, pressure coming from the back side. He skipped that one. Thompson apparently got a hand under it, makes the catch, and Thompson out of bounds with a first down near the 35. I mean, that's an incredible catch. And then again, he stepped away from a low tackler. This is his. Sinnott, first down, Thompson the catch. Ball jarred out, recovered by Pesafea. A catch, a fumble, and the Battle Hawks take it away. First down. 
Got to be the process here. He's got to have control and then an element of time to make a football move there. He does dip down to take on the contact. The question is whether he had control that whole time. Hey, hey, who's this? One, two. Houston needs to take a timeout. They don't know what defense they're in. Confusion on that defensive side. McCarron trying to take advantage. Double pumps and finds Jacor Pearson for the first down. Boy, we've seen him double pump a few times and find a guy over the middle range. Yeah, need about five, six more yards. And McCarron will try to get more than that on first and ten. Stepping up and throwing deep. He's got Butler open at the 20, leaping high and out of first and goal. McCarron. Looking, throws the fade, jump in the corner. Mitchell has it, touchdown, Battle Hawks. The fade route, and he does a good job with his alignment. See how far he is inside? That allows him all that outside area to work. He knows he's trying to run to that back pylon. He takes two steps and squeezes tighter to the ball on his original alignment, gives an inside move, and then McCarron with her drove down, and they wound up in the end zone. And with no time left on the clock, they go for two. Fakes to Sailors, comes back to the tight end. Sutherland, two more on the board. And the Battle Hawks with a 14-point lead trying to rock the rough next to sleep. First down at 10. Sinnott wanted the screen. A little adjustment by Cyril Grayson. And Grayson out across the 45 with a first down. I mean, that was wild. Want to remember, Jared Garantano is available today, the season starter for Houston at quarterback. From the 10, finding a little space, and out of bounds goes Jacor Pearson. First and 10. McCarron on the slant. Mitchell the grab again. Fourth catch for Stephen Mitchell. He didn't have a catch this panic. I, I just really love the entire feeling around this St. Louis organization. Send it to the sideline where he finds Emmanuel Butler for the first down. It's somewhat similar, Joel, to what Dan Campbell's approach was. Fresh set of downs from the 45 of St. Louis. Trying to bounce outside is Thompson. Thompson still on his feet. That is an outstanding six-yard run by Mark Thompson. Now he got six out of that. I'll never... in it open hole first down inside the 25 ball pops out at the end of the play Houston there to recover it can't we even kick a field goal so you cannot take a sack on a stunt up front to get free sit it finds an open man that's Justin Hall and Hall fights his way down to the 16 yard line and I think that keeps him alive for a fourth down there Fourth and two, Thompson bouncing outside. Thompson with room, and Thompson with a Houston touchdown. What an outstanding run by Mark Thompson, and the Roughnecks are very much alive in St. Louis. Good job, Mark, Good job, man. Basically backwards and to his right to avoid right here. Watch this, boom, and he moves all the way, and then he finds a seam. Good, job, Good blocking down the field by the wide receivers. I tell you what, man, this guy just has great instincts as a runner he can find those seams he i love your point about blocking joel how often on a play where you reverse it do you see somebody with an illegal block because it's going the opposite way sit it under pressure and he'll go down on the two-point try second and nine after the one yard run oh tough snap mccarran able to pick it up now he's just going to scramble and get good yardage out of a busted play errant snap time in st louis Fourth and one. Sailors bouncing. Won't we'll get it. Houston's defense standing strong. And the Roughnecks rough on that battle hack offense. He did a big play. Play clock under four. Said it just gets the snap off on third and 12. Steps away, hit as he throws, ball floating in the air. It's recovered by St. Louis, scooped up by Willie Harvey, and down at the 49. Boy, I would be shocked if this is a fumble. The ball. Yeah, I like this look, this last look. Yeah. 
like this look here, which sees it from the side. Sideline, but boy, just an interesting aspect of, of the UFL here. Second down and 10. And McCarron stepping away. He's not going to get away from the pressure. Ronin Bingham reached out his hand and was able to yank McCarron back into the pocket. Been very good here today. On third and 12. Handoff up the middle and nowhere to go for Jacob Sailors. And some Boo Birds cawing down from the battle. Tonight, tonight, against the number one scoring offense in the league, they've only given up 14. And on first down, a gaping hole for Pledger into the secondary and a first down at the Battle Hawk 41 yard line. So St. Louis gets out of position on this rotation. He's got four catches to his haul for 48 yards. Senate look in that direction, finds hole. Is he short of the first down? It looks like he is. By a yard, he ends up short. The tackle from Camp. We're ending the game on the field. That's a whole mantra of the offense right now. Off the fake, McCarron on first down with some touch, finds Butler. First down and more and ridden out of bounds at the Houston 36 by Markel Roby. But Butler back into the game and back into the- Has shown with this new life in the UFL that he can move, get him on the edge, make a play. Here's McCarron on first down again, going up top for Butler! Hakeem Butler may have just salted it away for the Battle Hawks. Out, we've got him set up. How about McCarron? Just a small play fake, and then you see the secondary biting just a little bit. Keandre Thomas took those one step, those two steps up right there, boom. He steps up, Butler is gone. Beautiful route to the inside, then the outside, and an even better throw from McCarron. They've been waiting all day long to try to connect on that deep pass, and they finally do inside of four minutes when they needed it most. Love the play call, love the execution. A.J. McCarron to back. Get McCarron on the edge, easy completion, and then they go downtown. And a two-point try. Sidearm sling, and walking in. It's Jacob Sailors for two. Right over on downs and only one timeout left. They wouldn't be able to stop it enough. Two for three today on fourth down. Pressure coming. Sinnott throws a floater incomplete. Justin Hall never saw it. And a turnover on downs will lock it up for the Battle Hawks. On that side of the ball. We'll have to see if Mike Rose can come back, though. He's been terrific over the last few. Last Austin week, he'll just run this one to the end zone, dancing around. And out of bounds for the safety to end this ball game with a St. Louis win. Now 5-1, and one, their fifth straight win. 3-0 and oh at home. Anthony Beck to the Battle Hawks. A.J. McCarron and